and it grew stronger. The deeper Voyager pushed into the unknown. It was clear now, the edge of our solar system wasn't a border. It was alive. It was reactive. Maybe even aware of the object crossing into it. But the strangest part? The signal. Buried deep inside the data was a narrow band signal. A frequency that was steady. Low. 3 kilohertz. It wasn't a traditional transmission. There was no message. No modulation. It wasn't even a natural frequency. But it was consistent. Unfaltering. And it had been there all along. We just hadn't noticed it before. Earlier, Voyager had picked up faint hints of it. But at the time, it was dismissed. A background noise. Now, with more advanced processing and clearer data, it became undeniable. The signal had always been there, it had just been too weak to detect until Voyager got closer. But what was most unsettling? The signal didn't change. It didn't fluctuate. It didn't react to cosmic interference. It didn't shift with solar radiation. It was, constant. Like a clock ticking in the dark. It wasn't growing louder. It wasn't growing more intense. It was just, there. Sharpening as Voyager moved closer to a particular sector of space. Mission Control began to realize the magnitude of what was happening. This was no random noise. This was structure. And if it was structure, then what was emitting it? As the last pieces of telemetry were decoded, another anomaly surfaced. Voyager's trajectory was slowly but steadily changing. Not from any fault in its propulsion. Not from hardware degradation. But from an external force. Calculations showed that the spacecraft's path was deviating from its predicted course. And what was even more baffling. The region Voyager was headed toward contained no stars, no planets, no known celestial bodies. And yet, it was being pulled. Something was exerting force on it. NASA's best minds were stumped. They pointed every available instrument, every deep space radio array towards that region. They searched for something, anything, that could explain this force. Nothing. No light. No heat. No mass signature. Nothing detectable. The pull persisted. Unseen. Unexplained. Some suggested it could be a rogue planet, a wandering black hole. Or perhaps a dense cluster of dark matter. But those hypotheses didn't explain everything. Not the signal. Not the plasma storms. Not the gravitational anomaly. What was it that Voyager had encountered? What was it being pulled toward? And then, on Earth, things started to change. NASA's deep space network, which had always made updates public, began to slow down. Reports started to get delayed. Data that had once been freely available was now heavily redacted. Even more troubling, the engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, once vocal and open about the mission, began to grow quiet. Their updates stopped. They went dark. Closed door briefings. High level involvement from agencies outside NASA. A shift in priorities. And a growing silence. Something in that data had become too significant. Too dangerous. To remain public. Speculation exploded. Independent researchers and theorists flooded the internet with ideas. Some suggested the gravitational anomaly was a pocket of dark matter, an uncharted clump of mass, dense enough to bend light and pull Voyager's trajectory. Others pointed to ancient cosmic echoes, signals from a time long before the Sun was even born. A resonance from the early universe that just happened to align with Voyager's path. But the more radical theories started to surface. Some believed that Voyager had stumbled upon something far more unsettling. That the three kill among the most fascinating objects observed by JWST is VHS 1256b, a strange brown dwarf that lies between the realms of planets and stars. Larger than a planet but not quite a star, 
VHS 1256B has revealed some of the most intriguing features ever detected in such a celestial body. Joost's observations have shown that VHS 1256B glows with a reddish hue due to a unique form of fusion, distinct from the fusion seen in true stars. Even more remarkable is the discovery of silica clouds surrounding this brown dwarf, a phenomenon that has never been observed in such an object before. The analysis of VHS 1256B's atmosphere, which includes methane, water vapor, carbon dioxide, and potassium, has opened a new chapter in the study of planetary and star-like objects. Joost's incredible power has also given us a glimpse into the most distant regions of the universe, including the edge of the cosmos itself. In a groundbreaking discovery, the telescope observed six massive galaxies that existed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies were far more advanced than scientists had previously believed possible for their age, challenging our assumptions about how early galaxies formed. This astonishing revelation forces scientists to rethink the timeline of galaxy formation, and it may lead to a complete revision of our understanding of cosmic history. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, the future of space exploration is brighter than ever before. With its ability to peer into the most distant corners of the universe, JWST will undoubtedly uncover more secrets that will change the way we understand the cosmos. Already, it has revealed new insights into the formation of stars, the nature of dark matter, and even the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The telescope's work has only just begun, and its discoveries are expected to fuel scientific exploration for years to come. As humanity looks toward the stars, the James Webb Space Telescope is guiding us on an extraordinary journey of discovery, one that will continue to redefine our place in the vast, infinite universe. As the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues its extraordinary mission, it stands as a beacon of human ingenuity and scientific curiosity. Every new observation from JWST brings us one step closer to unraveling the universe's most profound mysteries. The telescope's ability to observe deep space in unprecedented detail has already reshaped our understanding of the cosmos, but the best is yet to come. With its infrared capabilities, JWST has already given us glimpses of galaxies that are billions of light years away, galaxies that existed when the universe was still in its infancy. The age of these galaxies forces us to rethink the formation of the universe, challenging theories about the early stages of cosmic history. Among the telescope's most striking findings is its discovery of massive galaxies that existed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, an age previously believed to be far too young for such large structures to have formed. This revelation has sparked a series of questions that scientists are eager to answer. How could these galaxies grow so quickly? What does this mean for our understanding of galaxy evolution? The answer could lie in a phenomenon that has eluded astronomers for centuries, the nature of dark matter. Joost's ability to study distant galaxies has provided researchers with invaluable insights into how dark matter influences their evolution, shedding light on one of the most elusive substances in the universe. But this is just one piece of the cosmic puzzle. Joost's discussion